While most carpentry students spend their time in class making tables or small shelves, senior Thomas Detlefson took on a unique challenge this semester, building a replica of a famous Rickenbacker guitar. I came up with the idea in September and I wanted to build a guitar because I play and the dream guitar that I want to own is about $3,500 so I figured in carpentry I could just build a replica of it for like a third of the price and uh, I'd be fine. Since he based the design off of a real guitar, Detlefson was able to use various resources to help him complete the project. I pulled up the model that I wanted to go after, which was one of George Harrison's guitars. And on there, they have very rough dimensions listed, uh, length, width, thickness, uh, scale length. So I took those dimensions, and then online I bought some vinyl templates that were about the same size as well. So I used those to trace onto some parchment paper and then trace that onto my wood so I could get the proper shape for it. The biggest challenge for him was making the guitar functional, which required some electrical work. That's where science teacher Tyler Brazina stepped in and offered to give him a nudge in the right direction. I think I was just there for a lot of moral support. I mean, he did it all himself. It was just kind of like, well, you might want to consider uh, holding the soldering iron like this. And uh, we, we did have a little uh, research uh, spot when it came to grounding his bridge. It's like, uh, you don't want to have your wires be an antenna. So uh, we, we, we discovered that together. Well, the actual wiring harness inside of here, when I got it, um, it was mostly already complete. All the actual knobs were wired together with the switch and everything. All I had to do was wire it to the pickups and then ground it to the bridge. But. Uh, that's why I need the diagram because this already, the, the harness that's underneath the, my pick guard here was already pre-assembled. Having a student plan out and actually build a fully functional electric guitar is an exciting feat and not something that people see often. The moment he told me he was building a guitar, I knew that he was definitely going to build a guitar that was functional. Like, I didn't doubt it. It wasn't a surprise at all. Um, you know, the kid's a stud and I knew that once he set his mind to it, he was going to do it. I was surprised by a 12-string guitar. I'm an English teacher. He brought a guitar into my room. I, I rarely get to sit there and jam out on an electric guitar in, you know, a school setting, so I took full advantage of it. Detlifson does not plan to play the guitar in any public events anytime soon, but is open to the idea in the future. For the MWHS Wildcat News, this has been Miguel Paredes Reyes and Tenley Wright.